just confuses the hell out of me. But she ain't, I think this is really good quality. Color myself shocked considering I don't wear dresses ever. I guess. So, today's video I'm doing another Shein haul. I bought a bunch of stuff from there a couple of months ago and I was testing out some of the kind of more sportswear. As I've mentioned previously, um, I'm trying to work out a lot more. I actually work out basically every single day now. I have like one day off every two weeks. I'm getting better. And my diet has done a complete 180, so I'm pretty proud of myself at the moment. Although, it's my birthday this week and you can bet I'm going to be having desserts. So I just share some of the bits and pieces that I got, what the quality's like, what they look like, compared to the picture, how they fit, how they wear, all that kind of stuff. So let's get into the video. The first is a little risque. We have a little lingerie set, a little corset kind of thing. It does have the hooks, so you've got three different things. Then you have a little pair of undies here. To be honest, I've never, I haven't actually worn these. This thing just confuses the hell out of me. So I got a medium because I'm like a 34 double D. This, these little cups do not fit my big boobs. So the problem is if I was to get a size further up, this probably would be way too big. These would be too big as well because like th this has a bit of elastic in it which is quite nice. Like I said, I haven't really tried these on before. They're really cute. I loved I love the colour, I love the black against the green. I'm sure this would do the job because it's really cute if you have like smaller boobs. Um, stretch in here, so it's it's decent quality considering it's Shein. It's really not bad, I don't think it's bad at all, I just think the sizing's just a bit off. I think you should be able to maybe pick a size for this and then pick a size for this. And it should be a cup size and not a small medium large. Speaking of bras, uh, I tried out a bunch of their like sports bra kind of wear. And this one's my favourite. This one, the cups, because they're more sewn in, um, they don't move around. Like a really cute... This one, I do feel like, because it's more like busty, I do feel like I probably spill out of it a little bit too much. But I mean, I'm working out at home. This is really comfortable, nice material. The, the band isn't, like, it bands is stretchy enough. It's, it's, it's a nice sports bra. You've got this one, which is more like a sporty kind of one with the things that go across the back. It's really cute and everything, but because the things aren't sewn in, literally, look at the cup right now. It's all folded over and I can never get it back into the right position because I'm like, what way was it even meant to be in? This is not just a Shein problem. Like, funnily enough, Robbie Christie actually put on Twitter recently about it and I called out Fabletics because my Fabletics sports bra has done exactly the same because it's not sewn in. And I'm not being funny, but considering how much more expensive Fabletics is to Shein, I would expect that it should be sewn in like this one is. You can literally just sew the fucker in. And then lastly, I have this one, which I think, like, I love the straps on this one. It's really, really cute. They are a little itchy, but then I'm only wearing it for like half an hour or something. And with the bottom bit, these are, like, it's got this like mesh. And then it crosses over in the back. The cups move around. So that's annoying. This one does also have the little thing. So obviously they, they must do that specifically so they know that you can maneuver the pad around when it obviously moves when you wash it. They're more for fashion than for function though, as you would expect with, with Shein. Next, I have some more workout clothing. I have this top here, which has these little rivets in at the back here, which makes it a little bit more breathable. It's really good, really thick stretchy. I think this is really good. For Shein, I think this is really good quality. Literally no bad words to say about this product. It's medium and because it stretches, it fits great. I also have a pair of shorts which <laughs> the second I got these out I was like, that'll probably fit over one thigh. <laughs> Amazingly, they fit and they fit pretty well. Tiny bit too small, but not so much the fact that I'd be like, I need to return these. Super, again, stretchy. And even in the, the thigh region, that's nice and stretchy. Good quality. I haven't had any fraying or anything like that. It has similar kind of ribbing around the leg. Really impressive, actually. Then I have this bad boy. This is like a little romper kind of thing. I couldn't help myself because it had skulls all over it. And I kind of wanted a bodysuit that had shorts. It came like late August when it was starting to get cool again. Great. To be honest, I'll wear it around the house. But... It's not particularly flattering on my body type. I think on the model it looks great because she's slim, but for me I am more curvaceous. It don't look good on me. It's cute. It's a cute idea and concept, but 
it does look cute on me. A few more things. So I also got a pajama set. I could not help myself. I've been obsessed with like constellations and astrology and stuff like that. And this little set, little vest top and shorts, I just thought they were so nice. They're like really slippery material. Definitely not for winter, but more like summer kind of pajama set. Really, really cute. I really, really like them and have worn them a couple of times. I also have a couple of t-shirts. So again, kind of the more astrology thing. They had loads of these. Honestly, I wanted to get every single one. I got one of the purple kind of ones with planets and all that kind of stuff on it. Also got one with moons and stars. These aren't the most flattering t-shirts on me, but for a pajama t-shirt, working out or um, just hanging out around the house, I think they're adorable. And then lastly, I'm sorry it's covered in fur. It was literally about to go in the wash. I actually got myself a little dress. Kind of myself shocked considering I don't wear dresses. Ever. But this has like tears and stuff all over it so I thought it'd be cute with like a pair of leggings or just hanging out around the house if you want something again a bit cooler. I thought it was really really cool. I have worn it a couple of times as you can see like I said by all the cat hair. I always play with Casper and I'm carrying him around giving him cuddles. It's really cute. It's It comes up like just above my knee um, and I'm five foot two so. That was everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you feel like it. I would really, really appreciate it. I am going to be having Fenty next. If you want to see that, please make sure you subscribe because that will be next on the channel. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.